This project originated through the University of Dayton's Ethos program that sends engineering students overseas to work in developing in developing countries to meet their immediate needs. Part of the, the Ethos philosophy is solving engineering challenges using appropriate technology. So using locally available materials and techniques to try to build an engineering solution. This came out of a group of students who went to Bihar, India. Bihar is a remote province and they have a real problem because they don't have a reliable electric grid. So we are developing a solar thermal adsorption refrigerator that does not require electricity and using uh, inexpensive, uh, non-toxic, and environmentally friendly material that is available in those regions. Instead of using conventional chlorofluorocarbons or HCFCs, is using a material like ethanol, which has virtually no greenhouse gas warming effect. We start out with liquid ethanol, which is the same kind of alcohol that's in a beverage or gasoline. And this evaporates at very low pressures, so it evaporates at a low temperature, which means we can carry heat away from this evaporation chamber. And that vapor ethanol gets adsorbed to the carbon, which is like having the ethanol stick like Velcro onto the activated carbon. To unstick that Velcro ethanol, we can heat it up. Now in the field, we would use a solar collector, but here we're just using electric heat lamps. And by heating up the activated carbon, we drive ethanol vapor off of the carbon bed and can condense it again for another cooling cycle. This is something that has really inspired students and faculty to continue. It keeps going and it grows all the time. This is the first time I've had a research project that has come up from student interest and has been certainly initially driven by students who are excited and want to make it work.